Red team, this is blue team. We are in position. How copy? Over. Blue team, this is red team. I copy. Blue in position. Over. Gold team, this is blue team. All units are in position and awaiting further instructions. What is your status? Over. Gold team, 2-3. This is blue team, 1-2. Radio check. Over. Uh, yeah, we're here, blue team. Gold team, I repeat. What is your status? Over. Uh, we're pretty good. What? Actually, uh, we were wondering if we could maybe change our name to... Orange Team? What difference does it make? You tell them it makes a big difference, bitters! Because I am orange! I am not gold! I am not yellow! I am fucking orange! Griff! Get off the radio! The teams are fine! The teams suck! You're gonna blow our cover! Ugh. Alright, we'll be gold. Go tell the blue team to suck a dick and then get in position. Whatever you say, Captain. We're infiltrating an enemy base and you're bitching about colors. It's a misleading title! People can get confused! Oh, shut up! Nah, he's right. I'm confused. Caboose, you're always confused. Well, that's as confusing. Ooh, okay. Doors opening in approximately 15 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, what if this doesn't work? Probably won't. What if it's a trap? Probably is. Uh, what would Sarge say in a time like this? Shut it, Simmons. Probably, yeah. Uh, here we go. Ah! Did we win? <sighs> no. Apparently we've unlocked one of several security doors. Oh, so I talk on the radio when it's jeopardizing the mission, but that happens and everything's fine? Shush, Griff. They might hear you. Doors opening! Yeah! Captain Griff, we have a visual on the main compound. Over. What's it look like? Well, on a scale from 1 to 10, I'd say we're pretty fucked. Stow that kind of talk, bitters. RCOs put a lot of thought into this plan, so why don't you show a little faith? Right, Captain Caboose? Yes. Alright, we're almost there. Is everyone ready? Ready. 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 Captain Simmons? Jensen has something to say to you. Uh, yes, Jensen? I just wanted to say that no matter what happens, it's been an honor working with you, sir. Uh, thank you, Lieutenant. That is, yes, that, <clears throat> affirmative. Over. What the fuck was that? What? Did you just stroke out for a second? You sounded like Caboose. Uh, if he's me, can I be him? Shut up. Look at me! I'm smart! I like slide rules and protractors! Oh, I can't wait to go do some protracting! So I still have problems talking to girls. Big deal! Yeah, it is! Especially when your squad consists entirely of girls! Now man up! Oh no, this is like junior high all over again! What? Why do I have to play in the women's league? I want to be a mathlete, Dad! A mathlete! Yeah, okay, I don't want to be Simmons anymore. God damn it! Do I have to do everything around here? Everybody get ready! We're going on my mark! Three! Two! One! Every man for himself! Ah! Your body ah! the port that I live! What? Ah! What's going on? Suppressing fire! <laughs> hey, what's up there? Ah! 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 Reinforcements, on our way! Ah! exercises if you people aren't going to work together. But we did! We had team names and everything! Griff was gold! Orange! You had a plan, you were organized, but once again you crumbled under pressure. <sighs> Lieutenants, debrief with your COs. Everyone else, round up all training weapons and uniforms. That's enough capture the flag for today. Whoa, and what the hell are we supposed to say? Hey guys, sorry you still suck. Turns out we suck too. At least we have something in common. Tell them what they need to hear. Tell them that they can do this, and that next time, they will be better. So you want us to lie to them? No. I don't. You... wanted to talk to us, Serge? <sighs> I hope Tucker has it better than this. <laughs> Hey, Felix, you think I could have
have a turn with that sniper rifle? Absolutely not. Ugh. Uh, sometimes I, uh, like to take my hands and, uh, cup them around my eyes. Like little hand binoculars. Shut the fuck up, Palomo. <laughs> Good guys. They've really beefed up their security. Why? What's going on? Well, it could be that someone from up top is coming to visit, or it could be a response to the weapons I stole from this place a few weeks ago. Gee, I wonder which one it is. Uh, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious it's the weapons. Stop talking. We're gonna have to go with plan B. Wait, what do you mean? What's plan B? We plant C4, we leave, and we blow this outpost to hell. What? It's a standard hit and run. I've done it a million times. We'll be fine. Uh, actually, no. We will not be fine. I thought you said we came here to gather intelligence. That's gonna be pretty fucking difficult when their computer system is in about 40,000 pieces. Okay, I get that you want to save your friends. I do, really. But data retrieval is no longer an option. Once we find out where they're holding Wash and the others, the New Republic will do everything they can to save them. <sighs> but today isn't that day. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Now. We've only got one active camo unit. Tucker, that's going to you. It's a little damaged, so try not to run it constantly. Only when you need to disappear. Got it. As for the rest of you, that's up to your captain. Oh, right! Ah, here's the problem. The rats must have chewed through the wire. That is a military-grade reinforced power cable. What kind of rats are you talking about? Space rats? Yeah, I can see that. Oh, the back of my head. Perfect! Now you look just like the rest of those assholes. That was stupidly fortunate. What do you mean? I mean, what if we had ended up with two really fat bad guys? What size are you, Cunningham? Like a medium? Use extra large, sir. See? Whole plan. Whole plan would have been ruined. Y you think just because you watch something on TV that it's a good idea? You don't? Also, really, man? Use extra large? It's very slimming, sir. Hey, uh, what about me? Do uh, I get this guys? No. Palomo, you're guarding our escape route. Oh. Okay. It's because I don't trust you. Got it. Honestly, if you were out in the field, you'd probably get all of us killed. I could totally see that. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be me. Alright. Let's go to work. <sighs> okay. Just play cool. You, you really think this plan's gonna work? I mean, I know the reds and blues are supposed to be war heroes, but... They all seem kind of dumb. Dude, I'm invisible, not deaf. Oh. Sorry, sir. <sighs> Okie dokie, boys. Everyone take your modified sticky detonators, find something that looks expensive, and strap a bomb to it. As soon as you're done, head back to the cave. You sure you'll be okay in your armor out there, sir? <laughs> Don't you worry about me, kid. Freeze! <laughs> I am fucking awesome. Okay, bomb. Do me a favor and don't go off in my face. Am I right? Who am I talking to? You mean he's here? Shit. Yeah, just came in from the city. They still got the freelancer up there? I don't know. Look it up inside. Fuck that. I'm not gonna let him catch me slacking off. Wash. Tucker, what's your status? Uh, good, good. Almost done. Don't move. What the? I said don't move. Turning is moving. <sighs> All right. I want, like, a hard drive or something, with base locations, and classified shit, and any info you've got on Agent Washington and the other guys you kidnapped a while back. Okay, just take it easy. Captain, we're almost done. Where are you? I'm in the lab. Give me a second. You're what? Chill out, dude. I got this. Are you fucking kidding me? I specifically told you not to- Thank you, mute button. All right. The files are copying over to a flash drive. Sweet. Ha <laughs> 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 Look who's dumb now. Hey, I surrender. No, sir, it's, it's me, Cunningham. Oh, right. You turned off your radio. Everything okay? Yeah, sorry, I was kind of in the middle of something. Well, we gotta go. Like, now. Right, absolutely. Just one more minute. Sir, but I think the feds are on to us. Okay, okay, we can go... We've been infiltrated. 
Sound the alarm. Searching for and disarming the bomb. granted us access to valuable information. Whether or not this was the right thing to do is a conclusion you'll have to come to on your own. I'll leave it at that. Right now, the six of us need to have a talk. Could it not be as depressing as the talk we're having right now? I know where your friends are. 
Yay! I have friends! Whoa, when did this happen? I kept digging through the files Tucker brought back. There wasn't much to go off of, but eventually I found them. And from the looks of it, they've been moved around a bit. Finally! We can rescue Sarge and everything will go back to normal! Isn't that great, Griff? Great is a strong word, Simmons. I'd have gone with tolerable. Don't celebrate just yet. As I said, they've been moving around fairly regularly. And from the looks of things, it isn't going to stop. Right now, they're held up in a compound just north of a nearby mountain range. But in about a week, it sounds like they'll be transferred to the capital. A place that is very, very out of our reach. So, then we go get them now? Is that... that's a thing we can do, right? The compound she's talking about is twice the size of the one Tucker and I raided. Breaking in would be suicide. Breaking someone out would be... like, suicide and a bunch of puppies dying. How do you know? Because I've tried. And, uh, spoiler alert, it didn't go well. Are the puppies okay? Kimball, please talk some sense into these guys. Yes, I'm sorry. Can we get back to the puppies? When I first heard about you four, I envisioned strong, daring, respectable soldiers. But? But, now that I've come to know you, I've found that you're something else entirely. It turns out you're all a bunch of... Cowards. Losers. Idiots. Spacemen. Misfits. You're oddballs that don't exactly fit in. Which is why my men all look up to you, and why morale has been at an all-time high. Because they can relate to you. Because together we're an army of underdogs and outcasts. But, as of right now, I cannot authorize a rescue mission of this scale. Interestingly enough, you work well when you fight together. But, individually, you still haven't shown what it takes to lead others. Which is why I'm giving you five days. Five days to assemble a smaller team. One comprised of the best of each of your platoons. And if you can convince me that you're ready by the end of those five days, then you will have my support. Five days? That's not really a lot of time. Well, it's all you've got. Yeah, um, if this is really happening, I'd like to be paid in advance. Five days. Five fucking days. My naps take longer than five days. Yeah, yeah, President's Day is Monday, so we can't expect people to come in on a holiday because that would be time and a half. And, oh my god, that would be five and a half days! Take my advice, gentlemen. Live to fight another day. I think I liked you better when you thought we were super soldiers. Hey, what's up with that? This is a plasma rifle. Part of my cut from the hit and run. Your cut? Do you think these guys have any money lying around? Yeah, right. They pay me in old alien tech. The whole reason Course was chosen for colonization was because it showed promising signs of extraterrestrial artifacts. Turns out the UNSC was right. Too bad they abandoned the place. But hey, their loss is my very shiny, very valuable gain. Wait, why steal weapons and ammo when we could just use this space laser shit? Because they don't work, genius. They're busted. But I'm willing to bet that someone out there would be happy to pay a very large sum of money for these babies. Uh, yeah, wait, I'm sorry, I'm confused. Are, 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 they, are they babies or are they lasers? Are uh, uh, laser babies. While we're talking business, if you guys are serious about rescuing your friends by the end of the week, I could always be persuaded to increase my level of assistance. For a one-time fee, of course. Maybe something along the lines of an alien energy sword? Hmm? Any takers? Tucker? <laughs> I don't think so. If you like the New Republic so much, how come you still charge them for your help? Because when I retire, I want a television the size of a billboard. Well, that's gonna be bad for your eyes. I'm just saying, you could always help us out for free. You know, mix it up a little. Ah, mm, okay, so you want me to help you rescue your friends because... What? It's the right thing to do? Yeah, it's called not being a dick. <laughs> you know, if I recall, the first time these people ever asked you for help, you turned them down. Figured this whole civil war thing wasn't your problem. <laughs> In fact, I bet if your friends had never been captured, you'd still refuse to lend them a hand. Even if it was the right thing to do. Everyone has their price. I learned that a long time ago. And you're no exception. Just reconsider, sir. Uh, I mean, uh, I followed your order from day one with, like, the burritos, and, and I'd follow you to the end, sir. Really, I would. Bitters, what do I always say? Nobody likes a kiss-ass. Nobody likes a kiss-ass. But, sir... Matthews, you are, in fact, a total kiss-ass. 
And nobody likes that. Bitters, do you like that? Nope. Bitters doesn't like that. Because Bitters here is a maverick, a loose cannon, and people love loose cannons. But I'm a bit of a loose cannon myself. Isn't that right, Bitters? Actually, I'm starting to think you're just kind of lazy. You see that? Total loose cannon response. I respect that, Bitters. <sighs> Whatever. So, as much as it pains me, inside, I'm afraid I must deny your request to join our elite team, Matthews. <sighs> Very well, sir. I understand. Even in defeat, still a kiss-ass. Griff, hurry up! Speaking of which... <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us here. Uh, why don't we all just go down the line and introduce ourselves? Um, hi. Uh, yes. My name is Michael J. Caboose. Hi, hi Michael. Michael. No, I meant the recruits. Why would we need to introduce ourselves? They already know us. Yes, but do they know the real us? What does that even mean? Well, that is a very interesting question, Tucker. Why don't you elaborate on those feelings? Ugh. Just state your name. And tell us a fun fact about yourself. Really? <clears throat> Permission to speak, sir. Uh, go for it. Thank you, sir. Lieutenant John... Hey, G.I. Joe, could you drop the act? We don't have all day. Oh, uh, very good, sir. My friends call me Smith. I've served the New Republic faithfully for several years, and I believe Captain Caboose is one of the wisest individuals I have ever had the pleasure of meeting. Sir. Great, another kiss-ass. You mean our Caboose? Yes, sir. This one right here. Correct. The blue one. Okay, moving on. Next! Hello, everyone. I'm Katie Jensen. I enjoy vehicle maintenance, biology, uh... Uh... uh should we do something? <coughs> Sorry. Choked on my own spit. Simmons, what the fuck is this? It was either her or the really hot one that plays volleyball. Then what the fuck is this? She makes me less nervous, okay? Just leave me alone. Next. I'm Bitters. My fun fact is I don't have a fun fact. Total maverick. And last but not least, uh, Private Palomo, slayer of women, wooer of evil. Wait. Is that your fun fact? Oh, uh, oh. I'm the only surviving member of Green Team. Suck on that. I fucking hate you, Palomo. Alright, as you've all been informed, this team has come together for the sole purpose of rescuing the remaining survivors of a UNSC shipwreck from several months back. We all know them as Donut, Agent Washington, and Sarge. And maybe a Spanish robot named Lopez. And maybe an adorable robot named Freckles. Yeah, yeah, we get it. The point is, we've only got five days to train you guys, so we're getting started right now. Any questions? Who is leading this team? I am. Uh, what? Well, I'm obviously the one who should be leading us. I'm the most logical of the group. Bullshit! I'm the one who set up this entire meeting. Yeah, and this meeting blows dicks. Wait, why do you want to be the leader? Well, I'm really starting to get used to all this praise and pampering, and I don't want to risk losing it all to one of you jerks. I can always praise and pamper you, sir! God damn it, Matthews! What did we just talk about? Well, I think there's an easy way to tell this. Ahem. Raise your hand if you are the leader of a team any time before joining this army. Oh, whatever. That was a fluke. Yep, and I forgot to raise my hand. Hey, if you're looking for experience, so far I'm the only one who's been on an actual mission. <coughs> <coughs> Two people died. <coughs> Excuse me, sirs. We could always vote. My fellow soldiers, if you elect me as your leader, you're not just voting for a kind, well-mannered leader, you're voting for victory. I've overseen countless skirmishes and calculated my opponent's every move. And although some people may not count Dungeons and Dragons as an acceptable example of military expertise, I beg to differ. A vote for Dick Simmons is a vote for America! But we're not in America. Fuck. And I will put grenades in all the water fountains! And we won't have to wear uniforms anymore! And Principal Kimball will allow us Double! Reset! 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 Caboose, you're not running for class president. No, don't you see? We won't need uniforms anymore because the war will finally be over. Kimball will send us out into the world and we'll never have to raise another gun ever again. My god, he has such a way with words. Is this guy for real? Wait, but what about the Kool-Aid in the water fountains? Oh yeah, that sounds awesome. Dibs. What? I call dibs on the team. Dibs. You can't call dibs on the team. You sure? Great.
riff. All right, whatever. I don't need a leader anyway. Sup, guys? Tucker here. Uh, speech, speech. Oh, I've always said I'm a lover and not a fighter. Look at you, Jensen. Me? Yeah, tell your volleyball friend I said that. Anyways, please, God, tell me you guys haven't been standing around talking all morning. All right, look, you want the truth? I don't want to be your leader. Being a leader totally sucks. It's hard work and you have to put up with people you hate. But I want to get my friends back, and seeing as that's our mission, I will deal with whatever bullshit I have to do to make it happen. And if I was holding a mic, this would be the part where I drop it. I vote for Tucker. Yeah, I vote for Tucker. Me too. Yeah. Congratulations, Tucker. You got the job that you hate. Yeah, great. Yay, happy for you. So, did you guys want to start training at some point? Or, sorry, would you prefer to keep dicking around? Because by all means, I could watch this train wreck all day. Really, it's it's like the Hindenburg footage. You, you ever see that? Just absolutely breathtaking. Until you realize everyone's screwed. <laughs> working? Hello! Can you hear me? Yes! Jesus! What's the point of this again? This is going to make you all better fighters. Tell them, Simmons. Jensen and I have installed capture software into all of our helmets, allowing us to transmit what we see on the battlefield to a local server. Wait, do they only record on the battlefield, or are they recording all the time? All the time? Duh. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Dude, it's fine. But what if it records me doing something embarrassing, like looking at Jensen's butt or something? Excuse me? Just don't look at Jensen's butt, Palomo. Well, now I'm way more aware of her butt than usual. It's throwing me off. Palomo? You know what? I'm just gonna look at the ceiling. I still don't see how this is supposed to make us any better. It's like this. Sometimes you're with a lady, right? And she wants to spice things up, so you're like, boom, video camera. And she's into it, and then you're like, oh yeah. But then what's even better is that later you can go back and look at those tapes and figure out what was really working and what you can do better. So, it's like football coaches reviewing clips of past games. Sure. I mean, if you're into football coaches and that works better for you, I guess. No judgments. All right, we're good to go. You set up the training weapons? I told someone else to set up the training weapons. You'd make a great manager. I've said it for years. Sorry, I meant terrible. <laughs> You'd make a terrible manager. Whatever. You say tomato, I order a subordinate to say tomato. Okay, so our mission today will be to disarm and apprehend an enemy soldier. Take out one guy? That's doable. The soldier is Felix. Uh, what? If we can take out the best fighter in the New Republic, I'd say we stand a pretty good chance against any of those feds. Yeah, I don't agree to this. You don't have to. Just do what you'd normally do. But know that you'll have a giant bullseye painted across your back. All right, fine. Bring it on, tough guy. I will. And when we capture you, you're going to tell Kimball that we're approved for the mission. Fine. Good. Great. So, are you just going to stand there or what? No, I was sticking my tongue out at you. But I, I guess I'm wearing a helmet, so... Shut up. We got this. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Private Ganoush and I were given the task of editing down all of the footage from your training session. We took what we believe to be some of the more eye-opening moments from today's events in hopes that they might help you strategize in the future. Like a highlight reel. Like a reel. Why don't we get started? Hey, guys. Welcome to my helmet cam. Uh, today, we're going to be trying to take down Felix. So, let's see how it goes. Could be bad. Could be good. Could be in the middle. Who are you talking to? Uh, the audience? What audience? We're recording this for ourselves. You're the audience. Oh, yeah. Hi, me. Hi, Plomo. Can we skip this part? Sure. Not like we worked hard on this or anything. Huh? Huh? Okay, Felix is right over there. Bitters, hand me a flashbang. Oh, right. Um... About that. Hurry up, he's getting away! Uh, I don't have any. I told you to grab them! Yeah, I wasn't really listening. What? World's worst manager. Let's not argue semantics, Simmons. That's not what that word means. Does anybody have a fucking grenade? I gave mine to Caboose. You what? Fire in the hole. <laughs> I could watch this for hours. Jesus Christ, how long is this video? Hours. I just fucking said it. Pay attention. Does it get any better? Define better. Oh, come on. Let's go. Go where? To try this again. This is gonna be good. I'll make some popcorn. <gasps> oh, God. Feeling the burn. <laughs> <laughs> 
what if I am too good looking? I mean, it's, it's, it's possible. It's a scientific... <laughs> no! There! He's holding a training gun, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> what a joke! <dope. laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> any promises. I like to come down here when I need to think. It's peaceful. It's really glowy. That's the algae. Don't touch it. It's radioactive. Oh. Tranquil. Tucker, I'd like to apologize for Felix's behavior. He was out of line. Yeah, he's kind of an asshole. He's just worried. Right. I could really feel his concern when he dislocated my shoulder yesterday. He puts on a tough guy act, but deep down, I know he cares about you guys. Kimball, I hate to break it to you, but the dude doesn't give a shit about any of this. He's just in it for the money. It's more complicated than that. Oh. Are you banging? Jesus, no. Just saying. Got his stuff for money. We are not banging. So you're single. Felix may not be fighting for the same reasons we are, but he has more than enough motivation to win this war. What do you mean? Things weren't always this bad. The tides have turned time and time again, and we've come so close to victory, only to be pushed back to the brink of defeat. But whenever things look their worst, Felix was there with vehicles or weapons or even just a plan of attack. I never wanted to be a soldier, Tucker. None of us did. But Felix? He chose this lifestyle. And he chose it because he's good at it. You know, for his boss, you really make it sound like you need him more than he needs you. Well, I wasn't always his boss. He was in this fight before I was even an officer. What? Tucker, I am the fourth person to lead the New Republic. And I repeat, what? Our first leader was killed in action. The second was assassinated at what we had been told would be a peace treaty. And the third was blown out of the sky while trying to leave Chorus for help. What are you doing? Call me crazy, but I suddenly don't feel as safe around you. <laughs> I guess my position does have a pretty quick turnover. Okay, now you're talking my language. Touch me, and you'll sink to the bottom of this lake. No touching! That's what I thought. So Felix has been on the Rebels' payroll for a long time. What makes you think he won't just up and leave whenever he's made enough money? I know I would. 
<coughs> I mean, if I wasn't so invested in your cause. Like I said, Felix has more than enough motivation to win this war. The thing that keeps him fighting? It's the same thing that's kept us from victory for so long. It's what took your friends. It's Locus. What? Man, front and center, on the double! Something wrong, sir? Oh, oh, you better believe something's wrong, Private Smith. Wait, I thought we were lieutenants. I'm a private. Lieutenant, private, whatever. Just listen to your captain. I thought Tucker was our captain. No, Tucker's our leader. I think we're still a captain. Are we still lieutenants? Well, I don't see why not. Yeah, is this the line for the bathroom? Listen to your captain! Okay, I'll bite. What's going on? We have had a major breach in security, Simmons. A major fucking breach. We have? Someone from this squad has stolen from my very secret and very personal food stash. Oh, right. God help us if you only have nine meals a day. Oh, this wasn't just petty theft, Simmons. This was murder. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't do it. Now, we all agreed that it was a tax fault. What? A little dabby jelly cream pie I've been saving for emergencies is now missing and presumed eaten. <gasps> no, I don't believe it. Neither can I. You've knowingly had food within arm's reach and haven't eaten it yet? I have been hiding it since basic training, Simmons. Wait, but that would mean it was years old. How many years? Let's not get into specifics. Let's just say it's old. And still so young. That's disgusting. Oh, I know, but we're about to find the sick son of a bitch, so don't you worry about that. Yeah, he's probably got indigestion. Yeah, and even though we all blame the tank, kind of feel like Church had a little something to do with it, too. You see, only one man in this squad knew about my food locker. He'd seen it after every training mission I gave him while he was in my squad. After every single raid on the mess hall, he reported back to me, and I thought I could trust him, but it turns out I was wrong. Isn't that right, bitters? Well, what do you have to say for yourself? I think my stomach is dying. Damn it, Bitters. I thought you were cool. But it turns out you're nothing but lazy, good-for-nothing, dirtbag. Hey, leave him alone. Shut it, Simmons. S simmons Oh, wait. I, I mean, Griff, you're starting to sound like Sarge. What the? D simmons what is happening to me? I think you're having a mental breakdown. Yeah, those are my favorite kind. Being thrust into a position of power must be putting too much stress on your brain. Now it's defaulting to what you subconsciously perceive to be the symbol of leadership. Sarge! That's not true! That's impossible! No! Do you guys have any idea what's going on here? Not in the slightest. I, I think I'm gonna vomit. Oh god, I'm gonna hurl! Gross. Don't let me drown in my helmet. What does Locust have to do with any of this? When the Federal Army heard we had hired a mercenary to help our side, they decided to do the same. But they didn't just find any contract killer. They found Felix's oldest rival, his ex-partner, Locus. So you're telling me Felix used to be friends with that psycho? Not exactly. They fought together in the Great War, and their squad saw one of the worst battles in UNSC history. Felix and Locus never got along. They fought over everything, but considering what they were up against, they banded together. And they survived. But Surviving isn't always enough. When the war was over, many soldiers had a difficult time returning to civilian life. And some of them weren't able to return at all. Felix and Locus were always competitive. But when Locus signed up with the Feds, I think Felix took it as a final challenge. Final challenge? Locus knew that his mission would mean killing his former ally. But he took it anyway. Either the money was too good, or... Locus wanted to know, once and for all, which of them was better. We all have our reasons for fighting, Tucker. And I know that yours are your friends. Your five days are almost up, and I don't know when we're going to get another chance like this. You know, I think I respond better to positive reinforcement. I'm just saying, you should make the most out of the time you have left. Your squad may be improving slowly, but they're improving nonetheless. You just need to keep trying. Right, because that's been working so well. Feel free to come by my office if you ever need anything, Tucker. Ah, fun's over. Tucker's back. Tucker, Tucker, come here. Tell me I'm cool. Tell me I'm lazy and that I don't play by the rules. What? I don't want a southern accent. Yarr! Drop it, give me booty. 
We're dealing with some issues. Well, hurry up and get over it. I need you guys to meet me at the bunks in 10 minutes. Why? What's going on? We're leaving. What do you mean, leaving? Where are we going? Ah, is it to the park? Oh, I know, it's the beach! Wait a minute, you're not taking me to the vet, are you? No, we're going to break into that compound and bust out our friends. But we still have some time left to train the squad. Why would we leave now? Because the squad's not coming with us. Are they going in a separate car? No. Ah, so they're flying. You know, I have an extra bag to check. Is that going to be a problem? Cause... No, Caboose, we're going on this mission alone. Alone with the squad, got it. Why would we do that? I don't know if you guys have noticed, but our super elite team sucks. There's no way they'll be able to pull off a rescue mission. We don't know that. Kimball could still pass us. I'm not talking about passing. I'm talking about our trainees blowing up or getting shot or disintegrated or something. Oh. Yeah, that's a problem. Look, Felix was right. We're just gonna end up getting more people killed. So you're saying we should just get ourselves killed instead? Hey, we've done crazier things than this. Remember that time we fought, like, a bajillion hundred robots? We didn't fuck that up. We had church. Okay, well what about CT or the meta? We got lucky. Bullshit. Now maybe we can't teach a bunch of people how to fight, but the four of us can totally pull this off. We're not gonna get another chance like this. We just gotta go in and get our guys back. After that, Wash will know what to do. But even Felix couldn't break into this place. We are not Felix. Felix is smart. The feds won't be expecting dumb. Hey, who are you calling dumb? Shut up. No, Simmons, I was just asking for some clarification. I'm a little lost. Look, we keep trying to strategize and use code names and act like real soldiers, but we're not. We haven't been from the beginning, so why are we trying now? I say we just get in there and do what we do best. Uh, which is? I have no idea. But, uh, whatever it is, it's worked for us before. That's your plan? We just show up and wing it? That's the worst plan I've ever- All right, let's do it. What, Griff? You want to do this? Yeah. So what? So what? You never want to do anything. Ever. Simmons, I've been following orders I never liked for years. No, you haven't. You disobey orders all the time. Well, I don't want to be the guy to give shitty orders that nobody wants to follow. I will not become a Sarge, damn it. There's no way I'm making a bunch of stupid rebels get shot for something I want. So yeah, whatever. Let's just do it. <sighs> That's the most selfless thing you've ever said. But I want to steal more food before we go. <laughs> okay, that's more like it. Yay, mission! Simmons? <sighs> How are we getting there? Ha <laughs> yes, okay. I snuck into Kimball's office and grabbed all the data I took from the Fed's lab. We've got a map that'll lead us straight to them. All we need is a ride. Vehicle Bay's got plenty of warthogs, I guess. And I can drive a tank! No! no. Well, you're all just jealous. Wait, what about the Rebels? I mean, I don't think they'll be happy with us just leaving like this. Hey, Matthews, have you seen the reds and blues around? We can't find them. No, but that might explain why two of our jeeps are missing. Hello, everyone. If you're listening to this, it means we're already gone. Look, it's not you, it's us. Tell them not to leave the lights on! Caboose, not now! I miss you already, I promise we'll call! Damn it, Tucker. They just... left us? Who left us? Oh, no. Okay, the ability to fly north. Eh, I don't know. What do you mean? That's a great terrible superpower. Yeah, but you can still fly. You can only fly north. It's so inconvenient. Once you land, you've got to walk wherever you are going. I guess so. Okay, what about the ability to teleport one foot at a time? Mm, nah. You're meh. This road trip sucks. Hello? Anybody home? We've got some cars that need fuel. Yeah, yes, we would also like to purchase some lottery tickets. Yeah, I know the odds, but I just, I still think it's just fun. This place looks deserted. Woohoo, let's loot. I've always wanted my own Slurpee machine. Oh, dude, let me know if they've got any magazines. Me too. One with pictures. Specifically ones with pictures. You know what I'm saying. What was that? Maybe it's the owners. Oh, man. Can't we just pretend they're not here and loot anyway? Hey, Caboose, go tell them they've got customers. You guys start filling up the cars. Do it yourself. I'm going to take a leak. Oh, all right, but be sure to get my lottery ticket. My numbers are five, seven, and don't forget them. I know I said a bunch of inspirational crap back at the base, but it's times like these when I really wonder how we haven't been killed yet, you know? The power to turn into the Hulk, but only when you're asleep. Hello? Just here to use the bathroom. 
Also, somebody emptied out your Slurpee machine. Might want to get that filled. Man, what kind of gas station doesn't have hot dogs? <laughs> Jesus, it smells like somebody died in... Here. Do not disappoint me. Understood, Control. Yep. I think I hear the sound of new friends. Hello. Oh! Tucker! Perfect! You can help me and my friends come up with a secret high five! So what's the word? Control says to give it 30 more minutes. Ugh, this is a waste of time. Agreed. Who are these guys? Well, they're definitely not the gas station attendants. Wow, Tucker, I can really see why you're the leader. Up, ears. Quiet, I can't hear what they're saying. You know what they say, orders are orders. Jackson. Yes, Lucas. Change of plans. Report back to base immediately. The Reds and Blues will be requiring an escort. Understood. You heard him. Grab the gear and prep for evac. Where are they going? Tucker, wait! They just... vanished. Vanished? They said something about reds and blues? Oh my god! I know those colors! They're us! They were feds. I heard one of them mention locusts. Well, they didn't look like the typical stormtrooper guys. You think they were special ops? I think we should get to that base as fast as possible. Come on, let's go. but they sure as hell left us to die. We don't know that. They could come back. Their message didn't exactly specify. They'll come back. I know they'll come back. Nice shot. Wasn't me. You shouldn't be so hard on the guys. They did what they thought was best. Can't fault them for that. Still, I'm going to beat the living shit out of those four when I find them. When you find them? Tell Kimball I'm buying back one of the warthogs I sold her. But Felix, she said we weren't allowed to go after them. It was a direct order. Well, orders only work on soldiers. I am a mercenary. This is it. According to our data, the Federal Army base is just on the other side of this wall. About time. My eyes was asleep for so long, I thought it slipped into a coma. So we're here. Now what? We bust our way in. Anyone have any ideas? We could try scaling the wall. Huh, that's a little too obvious. Think dumber. We could knock on their door. Too dumb. I was joking. We could knock on their door. I just said that. Yeah, but you were joking. I felt the plan deserved more serious consideration. Hmm. How do you break into an evil ice fortress? You melt it! Like evil ice cream! Holy shit. We melt our way in. Wait, wait, Rip. Yes, I win! What? We can't go through the wall. And going over it is what most people would do, so let's just go under it. That's retarded. Exactly! Damn, I never thought I'd say this. I mean, ever. Seriously. But good job, Caboose. Oh, well, I'm just really glad someone appreciates my genius. Now let's start melting! <gasps> Caboose, <gasps> you're wearing a helmet. That's not doing anything. Okay, well, fine. Then how do you explain my sudden lightheaded... ...ness? What about friction? All the ladies tell me I light a fire between their legs. That's chlamydia. Friction won't work. It's got to be negative 40 degrees Celsius out here. That's negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. That's Jesus, freezing. That's cold. You people are idiots. We'll say it in American next time. Oh, I've got it. Stab. Is it working? <laughs> ah, it worked. Where are we? Hey, what was that noise? Oh shit, we're inside! I think bad guys are coming! What do we do? What do we do? I don't know, I didn't think this far ahead! Damn it! This white winging it's a bad idea! No more winging it! I swear, I heard something just around the corner. Let's get out of here! There could be more guards! We'll be caught! Well, we gotta do something! Just a few more feet, and I'll be there. Tucker! What the? Huh. 
huh. Well, would you look at that? Just a couple of harmless snowmen. You guys wouldn't happen to be the ones making all that racket now, would you? <laughs> well, time for some target practice. <laughs> but why, snowman? I cannot believe that worked. Uh, you're welcome. How did you do that? I use the same trick to hide from Sarge all the time back in Blood Gulch. You constructed and then hid inside of a snowman in the middle of a hot canyon. Hey, Sarge! I found him! It wasn't always a perfect plan. According to our intel, there's not much standing between the end of this tunnel and the detention facility. That's awesome. No, I mean, there's literally nothing between us. We'll be spotted as soon as we leave the tunnel. I don't know. Doesn't look like anyone's around to me. All right, lunch break's over. Back to your stations, people. Come on, maggots! Get the lid out! Move, move, move! <laughs> Woo! Brand new tank coming in! This will kill any intruders for sure! I hate my stupid mouth. I hate it more. How are we gonna sneak past that? We're not. Glad to hear you're finally making sense, Tucker. Let's go home. Good effort, everybody. We came, we saw, we realized it was impossible. No shame in that. Can't help but realize we haven't left yet. We can't sneak past those guys, so instead, we're gonna make as much noise as possible. If we can cause enough trouble somewhere else, we can draw them away from the prison. What do you guys think? Well, it fits with the dumb ideas theme. I figure if we fuck up these important looking pipes and then haul ass, we can make it into the building. Ugh, we have to run? We have to try. Worst case scenario, we end up in jail with everyone else and just wait for this whole Civil War thing to blow over. I think worst case scenario is getting shot. Or Griff getting shot and we have to carry him. There's only three of us. Fuck it. Caboose, do your thing. Time to clean the pipes! Alert. Catastrophic breach detected in sewage pipeline. Sector 3. <laughs> Sucks to be maintenance. Warning. Sewage breach detected in the barracks. Oh shit! My stuff! No! No, no, no! Now's our chance! Run! Here goes nothing! That's right! <laughs> Come on, guys! We gotta save our shit! This is the day we have the shit! Oh, I did it! 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 Oh, I did Oh, my God. I'm gonna die. I hope I die. Simmons, do something about this door. What do you mean? It's locked. Hack the door controls or something. Who makes you think I could just hack a door? You're the smart one. All you're good for is hacking things and making me look more handsome in comparison. I don't have any intel. I don't have any tools. I, I can't just do it. I need time. We don't have time, genius. Just pretend like it's a timed math test or something. I don't work well under pressure. You know that. Oh, shit. Tucker? Wash? What in Sam hell are you boys doing here? We came to save you. But we were supposed to save you. Ba ba ba. Cliffhanger. I repeat, we have three survivors in need of immediate assistance. Make sure the docs are ready. You really did number on this time. Sarge. He's not dead. Not yet. No. I warned you, Agent Washington. I gave you a choice. And you chose to fight. I admire that decision. Fuck. You... monster. No. I'm not a monster. I'm a soldier. Like you. Well, hello, hello, Agent hello. Washington. Project Freelancer? Agent Washington. Huh? So you would say that you have overwhelming feelings of anger and a need for revenge? More than you know. What? Wait, wait! Why did you do 
that? What's wrong with you? No, I was just... I was just following orders. I was just following orders. You shot him! What? You shot him! You shot Donut! No, I just... I did what I had to do. Tell me all. Agent Washington. Aim is to dominate it. 
They were given ample opportunities to move, to uh, form their own society somewhere else on Chorus. It is a large planet, I can assure you. But no, they are determined to uh, take back what is theirs. I'll admit, times were hard. But as a planet cut off from the rest of the galaxy, we did our best to govern the people. But it wasn't enough. Suddenly, buildings were exploding. There were, there were riots in the streets, complete and utter panic everywhere. These were not acts of freedom. They were acts of terrorism. And we could not risk warriors of your caliber allying with them. So you sent your men to kill us? Absolutely not. I've got a few cracked ribs that beg to differ. And a hip bone that strongly disagrees. Again, I must apologize. The way this was handled was not at all what I had wanted. Upon hearing of your arrival on Chorus, I ordered Locus to confirm his findings and bring you to us as soon as possible. Unfortunately, it appears as though I should have been more specific in the exact method of your acquisition. So what, this was all your mercenaries' fault? Y you expect me to believe that the general of an army can't control his own men? Y you're mistaken in assuming I have any control over Locus whatsoever. He is a dog that has long since broken from his leash. But we need him. As I'm sure you've already observed, I'm not a battle-worn soldier ripe with military expertise. On the contrary, I was simply next in line to run the army should something happen to its leader. What do you mean? Lieutenant General? Major General? Uh, personal secretary to the Brigadier. What? Where'd all the other guys go? Some of them left before things took a turn for the worst, but uh, most of them were killed. Yes, definitely they were killed. Not many of us left these days, I'm afraid. But you're supposed to be the evil empire, with giant warships and floating space lasers. Not camping out in the snow. That stuff's for rebels. And the sadly endangered polar bear. Well, we are doing significantly better than before. We still have multiple bases of operation, and Locus has managed to acquire top-notch military equipment. He even helped to strategize some of our more recent victories. <clears throat> Though I would not consider your rescue to be one of them. I also wouldn't consider it to be a rescue. Well, I can assure you that he was punished severely for taking such drastic measures against you. I made sure he wasn't paid a single penny for the job. How comforting. Gentlemen... I am fully aware that I may never gain your trust. But let me be perfectly clear. We are not your enemy. The New Republic has your men. And I can promise you they are likely recruiting them into their rebellion as we speak. Now, I can inform my troops not to attack them, but I cannot stop them from defending themselves. I am... Also unable to promise you a safe escape from Chorus in the middle of this conflict, and most of our ships are shot down before they can escape the atmosphere. So then what can you promise us? <sighs> if you can help us defeat these terrorists, you would not only save our planet, you would also save your comrades. Then, once the skies are clear, you could leave this forsaken planet once and for all. Mm. I don't like it. I'm not really seeing another way out. Was beating you unconscious would somehow work? <laughs> Highly doubtful. Dread. I guess I'm in. No man left behind, right? I still have one question for you, General. Uh, which is? Where are our robots? You got her, Gert. All right. Fixed up and ready to go. Bienvenidos, Robo Buddy. You're back in the world of the living. Viva! La viva! No estaba muerto, mis miembros solo dejo de trabar. Fue más agradable experiencia que tengo tenido. <laughs> no need to thank us, son. Me hice amigo de una rata. We have got a lot of catching up to do. Reana aquí más tarde de que es estúpido y confuso. Now, what about freckles? Uh, what's a freckles? Agent Washington is referring to a Mantis-class military assault droid. And you won't find it among this wreckage. <laughs> I'll, uh, just look somewhere else then. Oh, mierda. Locus. The droid was malfunctioning. It refused to surrender, and was therefore destroyed. He's dead? It was a machine. It had no life to begin with. Dusha. You know, it takes an awful lot of nerve to come strolling in here after what you did. Does my presence upset you, Sergeant? It gives me an itchy trigger finger, I can tell you that. What do you want? Aside from my initial examination, 
The men under my command were ordered to take you alive. All attacks were intended to wound. All shots were designed to intimidate. Let me assure you, my raid on your base was calculated, choreographed, and designed to apprehend you. Like herding sheep to the pen. Were it not for the intervention of the mercenary and his forces, I would have succeeded entirely. And what? That's supposed to make us feel better? Because quite honestly, it's having the opposite effect. It's supposed to make you understand. Usted es una ducha. Agent Washington, I am a professional. I follow orders, and I complete my missions at all costs. I don't care what you think you are. You just stay the hell away from me and my men. You still don't understand. Or perhaps you do. What? Excuse me. If someone tells you to leave them alone, you leave them alone. Of course, Doctor. Here. What is this? Before your droid was dismantled, I had a technician remove its primary storage unit. Its heart and mind, so to speak. Is this supposed to be some sort of apology? Is it? This guy doesn't make any sense. Esto se debe a que es una locura. I am not. Alarm! Mierde que es bilingüe! Por favor, no me mates! You give meaning to meaningless objects and meaningless people, then risk your own lives to protect them? Where's the sense of that? I look forward to your answer, soldier. Sorry about that. I promise the rest of us aren't like him. I'm Dr. Gray. Ooh, a doctor? That's like a medic who saves people. <laughs> You're a civilian, little lady. Civilian? <laughs> oh, I don't think you realize how bad this planet's gotten. The only people who aren't wearing armor these days are dead. <laughs> I know you. Your voice. Is that so? Oh, well, I performed surgery on you after they brought you here. Sorry if you find a few new scars. A shot from a concussion rifle isn't bad, but a severe injury to the back of the skull can be a little tricky. Especially when your head's already filled with pretty little wires and chips. I hope I didn't damage those neural implants. I'm sure they're fine. Thank you. You can thank me by ending this war as soon as possible. Bullet wounds and prosthetic limbs have become so boring. So, come by my office tomorrow morning for a checkup. Once you're cleared, you three will be shipping off. Shipping off? Where are we going? I don't give people orders, boys. I just fix them when they break. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll be back. Tomorrow morning, my office, 0800. Well, what do you fellows think? I think she's... nice? Not the doc, don't have the army, the general, the old Neelio. Griffin Simmons are out there with the blues, alone, confused, probably eating, and complaining, and back talking. God damn it, Griff, just shut up already. We do what we have to and go along with it for now. I just hope the others aren't in too deep without us. Okay, hold up. You're telling me the Feds are just as hopeless as a New Republic? I thought they were evil. Well, we thought you were being brainwashed by terrorists. Terrorists? Our soldiers are a bunch of harmless morons. Your soldiers? We were all promoted to captains. They gave us squads and everything. Blow team for life. Clearly our enemy isn't as cunning as we once thought. We don't have an enemy. As far as I can tell, both of these forces have reasons to fight, and neither are particularly guilt-free. We've just been caught in the middle. But the rebels aren't bad. Some of them are our friends. And we managed to make a few allies within the Federal Army. None of this makes either side any better. The New Republic started this war with extremist attacks on the capital. Only because the government was screwing them! You gotta admit, it sounds kinda like a dick move. We need to get these two sides to talk to one another. Doyle's in the capital at the moment, but maybe he can get this Kimball woman to agree to a meeting. If they can come to some sort of understanding, we might be able to end this thing and go home. This isn't right. Believe me, there's plenty wrong with this situation. But I think this is our best move. I'm just glad you guys made it. No, seriously. I mean, something doesn't feel right. I just can't figure out what it is. Is it a false sense of superiority? That's probably a side effect of the false promotion. Minutes after reuniting and you're already starting shit. What'd you expect? Breakfast in bed? I hate you. I hate you more. Wait, do you hear that? Uh, no? You okay, Simmons? What happened to the alarms? Is it lunchtime again? Hello? 
Dr. Gray? Anybody? Dude, what's going on? I don't know. Enemy contact! Pull back! Ready, go! Ah! Sarge! Way ahead of you! What's happening? We're under attack! Donut! Establish a perimeter! Got it! Hey! Just so you guys know, you better not come over here! Usted se desconcierta. Thank God, sir, you gotta help us. They, they came out of nowhere. Who? The rebels? No! Oh, good. Because we kind of just found out they're not really all that bad. Boy, have we got a story to tell you, and you are gonna laugh! It's not the rebels, sir. It's... <laughs> um... Did everyone else see that? You mean a man disintegrate right in front of us? Yep. Really wish I hadn't. Ah! Oh dear. We gotta do something. We can run. Running is something. Get away from the car! What are we dealing with? We don't know! Well, it ain't the Rebels, that's for sure! Then who the hell is it? Like sheep to the pen. Oh no. You're ready for slaughter. Locus! I advise you stand down, boy. from the fueling station? I thought they were feds. Those ain't our guys. I told you, Agent Washington, I am a professional. I complete my missions at all costs, but you and your comrades have put a blemish on my record. This is unacceptable. What are you talking about? You just killed the men you're working for. It appears you don't understand after all. Fortunate. You were such a fascinating soldier, Agent Washington. Huh? Tucker, grenade! Oh, right! <sighs> that was close! Nice throw, Tucker. <laughs> Felix? How many times have I jumped in front of a bullet for you, Wash? Three? Those are some pretty great reflexes, huh? Most people would have to plan that sort of thing. Felix, what are you doing? Just helping out an old acquaintance. They fought together in the Great War. You missed a spot. Are you done? Not even close. Dude, this doesn't make sense. That's Locus, your enemy. Right, and I'm the charismatic mercenary with a gruff exterior, but a heart of gold. A little too romantic, don't you think? But the guy fucking shot you! Yo! Oh, son of a bitch! Yeah, funny how an act of sacrifice like that buys you so much trust. And so much information. Weren't you with a, another freelancer? And an AI? I need a detailed list of the supplies you've got on hand. You wouldn't happen to have any high-tech armor aboard that wreck, would you? Well, you're supposed to hate each other! Oh, we do. After all, you should never mix friends with business. Wrap it up. But we just work so well together. Run! What about Rogers? Get down! You dirty liar! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I never actually lied to you idiots, okay? Well, except for once. You're some of the galaxy's greatest soldiers. <laughs> now that couldn't be farther from the truth. But you know, it did make you the perfect candidates to lead the people, of course. Stop boasting and let me kill them. We have a job to do. Oh, that's right. He doesn't like you guys. <laughs> he actually thinks there might be a few fighters among you. <laughs> Told you he's crazy. But why? Why the capture? Why make us part of this war? <laughs> well, you see... Felix? No. I've had to put up with these morons every day, so you let me have this. You see, someone, somewhere, out in our galaxy, has their eyes set on this planet. The only problem is the inhabitants. Now, if it were up to me, I'd just nuke this place from orbit. But our employer has other ideas. Holy shit. 
It's actually them. Back off. Control box to alive. Oh no. We have to play this thing carefully, you understand? If an entire planet dies overnight, well, people ask questions. But if you stumble onto this rock and find that the settlers killed each other, well, that's just a tragedy. Our first leader was killed in action. The second was assassinated at what we had been told would be a peace treaty. And the third was blown out of the sky while trying to leave Chorus for help. It was you. You started this war. Ah, wrong. These people hated each other way before our operation ever showed up. We just had to keep the hate train a-going. And let me tell you, you guys have helped so much. Does it hurt? Knowing just how much death you've brought to this planet. Enough! How many times must I tell you, if you want to make the victim suffer, you do it quickly and efficiently? There will be no rescue for you. You will die here today, along with the rest. No one will find your bodies. No one will know the truth. And no one is going to stop us from killing every last person on this planet. All right. That's all I need to hear. Kill them! The fuck are you? What is going on? Just grab it and shoot! Squash? My insides were just outside. Is everyone okay? You know, I never thought I'd be so glad to see you idiots again. Carolina? Uh, that's not all. Miss me, assholes? You fuck! Huh. Wasn't expecting that. Security. This is headquarters. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, I copy HQ. <laughs> you scared the crap out of me, Harv. Sorry, Sam. Hey, meant to tell you. Got a maintenance ticket for your console. Day shift says thrown up warnings. Yeah, okay. Motion sensor says there's movement in the room, but there's nothing here. Ah, that's probably it then. You know, bad indicator or something. Or maybe it's that super soldier right behind you who's about to knock you out. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> Probably that last one. Just a guess. Sleep tight, Sam. You sent off the motion sensor, Carolina? It's amateur hour. You're supposed to disable the motion sensors? Well, I couldn't do that until I got in the room. And I couldn't get you into the room without setting off the motion sensor. Well, you could. You just didn't. Can we just get into the database? I need the files. Already in. Give me a drive. How long to decrypt it? Oh, please. 
I'm already done. Already? It's a three-tier lockdown with a 2056-bit encryption key. It ain't rocket science. You're getting faster. Well, that sounded like a compliment. I will take it. How long to transfer? About 45 seconds. And you can't make that go any quicker? Well, that's a limitation of physical media. Don't even get me started on that. Besides, that should give you enough time to deal with the three security personnel who are about to come through the door. Wh which door? There's only one door. They just set a breaching charge, by the way. What? Detonates in three? Why didn't you tell me? Two? I just did. Epsilon! One? Oh, you'll be fine. If 45 seconds was a long time to you, Carolina, imagine what it is to me. All right. What do we have here? Well, you boys look well armed. All this for just one girl, huh? Really? Model 44s? Hey, D? Uh, isn't there a high jam probability on those things? The Caron Model 44 sidearm does not jam. You're thinking of the 42. Technically, only you are thinking it. I am just a memory of Delta. Well, I like to have someone to talk to. I get lonely sometimes. May I suggest buying a dog? Yeah, I'll consider it. We're getting a dog? No, Theta. Aww. The Model 44 does use computer-assisted aim. You could overload the processor and reduce accuracy by as much as 45%. Sounds good. Put the twins on it. All right, let's account for that in trajectories. Are you talking to me or to Delta? He's talking to all of us, Theta. I'm just thinking out loud, guys. All right, nah, that's good, but we can do better. Oh, oh, look at this. You can use the door as a shield. Hey, thanks, buddy. Yeah. That's better. Still, blood loss would be- God, God, I'm not done yet, Delta. Just give me a second, okay? A second is a long time for someone in our time base, Church. Just, listen, everybody stop talking to me at once, please. Are you getting angry, Epsilon? No, I'm fine. Beat it. I'm here if you need me. He's scary. Hey, he can't do anything as long as we ignore him. Okay, kiddo? Might I suggest prepping her healing unit? Nope, I'm gonna need the power for her escape. Assuming we make it that far. You are killing me with the negativity. Why don't you help me out and give me a bio scan of these losers? This one has recently had knee surgery. Thank you. Okay, let's blow the bolts on that maintenance hatch, give them a little bit of a stumble. First shot fired. All right, let's wrap this up. Gamma, where are we at? File still transferring. Okay, Carolina, how's your aim? She hasn't been sleeping well. She's been having bad dreams about the bad guy. No, Theta, she's fine. Don't worry about it. Delta, she's fine. This isn't very scientific. Well, sometimes you just have to operate on faith. That seems unwise. Yep, yeah, but it is more fun. There, that'll do it. She won't like that injury part. She never does, but if she lives to complain about it, she still lives. Thanks, guys. All right, looks like it's just you and me, sis. Transfer analysis to your HUD. Let's do this. All right! I'm here. I just lost a few pathways, but I can still hear you. How'd you do? Had to improvise at the end, but you got me started. Eh, I had faith. Thanks. Dad is here. Looks like our little scavenger hunt just got easier. You see this? Yep. Grab a helmet. We'll do some repairs on the way. Sorry, there's nothing that I can do about that in this state. You need to move. Already gone. Apparently, our friends in black aren't just focused on armor enhancements. These weapons are more advanced than anything we've encountered. How are they funding all this? Well, speak of the devil, and he 
he shall appear. Another message from Control? Yep. I picked out a clip you might find interesting. What did we lose? The healing unit, as well as several miscellaneous files. Sounds like last week's raid made the headlines. Keep listening. There's something you need to hear. This is unacceptable, Locus. I thought you told me you only worked with reliable partners. I do. The individual in charge of that outpost has been eliminated. I saw to the matter personally. I'm not paying you to put bullets through the heads of space pirates. I'm paying you to ensure the acquisition of my property. And when I lose my property, you lose your payment. If I could interject for a second, you're not just paying us to collect that freelancer tech from the crash. Wait, who is that? Felix, straying away from the New Republic to join the conversation for once. To what do we have the pleasure? Those sim troopers you dumped on us are proving to be more of a handful than an asset. If they find where we're keeping Wash, and if Kimball thinks they're ready, I'm not going to be able to stop them from searching for their leaders. And if they find their leaders, this whole Civil War charade's gonna fall apart real quick. What? I can assure you, they will never be ready. That's what I said, but my partner isn't convinced. We will continue to move Agent Washington's group sporadically and- Sir, what if they do manage to make contact? This inquisitive behavior does not suit you, Locus. If the Reds and Blues manage to reunite, Kill them. Carolina, we have to go back. What the hell is going on on this planet? We can figure that out along the way. Right now, we just need to get back to the guys if Control has infiltrated both sides of this war. I know. Recovering equipment can wait. Actually, there's one more thing I want to pick up. What? We're a long way from the guys. So what we need is a shortcut. <laughs> How bad is it? Well, fortunately, he missed your femoral artery. That's good. No, sweetie. You had a knife inside of you. That's the opposite of good. Call me sweetie again? And there'll be a knife inside of you. Ooh, you're hostile. I'd love to psychoanalyze you. The leg, please. Oh, yes. Be sure not to put any unnatural strain on those muscles. If you reopen the wound, it won't be pretty. Great. Hey, way to go, Carolina. Taken out by an oversized steak knife. Well, maybe if someone had remembered to account for hidden blades. Hey, I'm an AI. I'm not a babysitter. So, there's a tiny ghost man here. Anybody care to introduce me? Ah, uh, that's Church. Yeah, he had to leave for a while, but I knew he would come back. Bullshit. You were totally depressed. <laughs> what? No. No, Tucker. You're not remembering that right. No, I would not do something like that. I would not spiral downward into an emotional state of evidence and try to fill with the remains of a mechanical path just because I missed church. Stupid Tucker. Oh, forget you. I want to analyze him. Dr. Gray, this is Agent Carolina. She and I were operatives for Project Freelancer. As for church, he's an artificial intelligence fragment from the same organization, codenamed Epsilon. And to make a long story short, he kind of used to be the leader of Blue Team before I showed up. And tried to murder us? That was a misunderstanding. I know, I'm just saying, just don't gloss over the good parts. At least he didn't abandon us. Psychoanalysis for everyone! Oh boy, can I go first? I have got a lot of things crammed inside me. Now hold up just a second. I want to know what in the name of Benedict Arnold Palmer is going on around here. We've been tricked, we've been backstabbed, and we've been quite possibly... Bamboozled. Yeah, and whenever that shit starts happening, it typically means you freelancers had something to do with it. Project Freelancer is gone. We all saw to that. Call of all space marines, stop corruption! That was the news article Locust brought General Doyle when he suggested we find you. I always thought the title was meant to describe your appearances, but no, I think I get what the writer was going for. What I'm saying is that Project Freelancer isn't behind any of this. This is something else. Hmm, the plot thickens. Look, man, after we crashed, Carolina picked up a transmission. A couple of assholes were talking about selling cloaking equipment to another couple of assholes. There was no way we were going to let that slide. So, she decided to leave. I decided to go with her. We figured you guys would be fine, okay? Oh, yeah, totally. We were totally fine. Just doing our thing, hanging out, drinking margaritas, getting captured by evil mercenaries. Great time. Oh, Man, Tucker, I am so sorry. I mean it. My sincerest apologies. I had no idea that you had turned into such a whiny bitch while I was gone. And you still haven't grasped the concept of a hologram. Man, you're just having a really tough time today, aren't you, buddy? 
Man, I thought we had issues. <laughs> this is better than any daytime television drama. And that's some quality programming. Maybe Church will turn out to be someone's long-lost brother. I think we've had enough plot twists for one lifetime. And his real name is Horatio. I'd watch it. All right, enough. Tucker, there's no way they could have known all this would happen. Right now, we need to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Even if Epsilon is being a prick. Oh, don't you start to. We started investigating. And it didn't take long for us to realize that something was very wrong with this planet. Abandoned cities, soldiers everywhere. We kept to the shadows and gathered as much intel as we could. And what we found was worse than I had anticipated. How so? This third faction on Chorus, these space pirates, have managed to acquire freelancer equipment and are manufacturing more advanced versions of it on a mass scale. Versions that don't require the assistance of an AI. But how is that possible? I thought the UNSC confiscated everything Project Freelancer ever created. They did. But then they put those creations on a ship, and that ship crashed here. Wait, what? Guys, don't you think it's a little weird that our transport vessel also happened to be carrying tons of weapons and vehicles, and that it just so happened to magically crash on a planet in need of those kinds of things? What exactly are you suggesting? Someone wanted our ship to crash. So, what you're saying is, there's no way any of us could be responsible for the crash. I... well... yes. Why do you ask? Sir, this area is reserved for authorized personnel only. What were you doing in there? Oh, sorry, I just noticed you guys were using a really outdated web browser. I went ahead and updated it for you. Now it's the one NASA uses. No need to thank me. Those are the ship's navigation systems. You can't just update that stuff. <laughs> Tell me about it. Once I started with the browser, I couldn't stop myself from changing the graphics card, too. You what? And the motherboard, and the fan, and... Oh, hey, by the way, uh, I'm glad you're here. How do you feel about acrylic window panels? I... The answer is, you love them. No reason! Ah, uh, you guys are missing the point. Someone managed to ensure that freelancer equipment made it right here, to this tiny rock in the middle of space. These guys aren't just some, just some asshole raiders and mercenaries. They're organized, and they've managed to work their way into our own forces. In short, we have no idea who we can trust until we find the people behind all of this. Okay, hold up. Aren't we all forgetting something here? Oh. Yesterday was Mother's Day. There are two armies that are ready to blow each other's brains out thanks to Locus and Felix. We've got to tell them they're being used. That's not going to be easy. What do you mean? You've got those teleporter cubes. That's how we got here, right? Let's just zap ourselves over to the New Republic. Tucker, we've only got a few of those things left. They're kind of tricky to use. They put an enormous strain on the physical body, which, by the way, all of you have. That's not even the main problem, though. Those two mercenaries are thorough. They've got some sort of radio jammer set up that only allow broadcasting on certain frequencies. And they monitor all other open channels. We tried to contact you when we overheard your radio transmission to Donut from the crash site. Not only did we fail, but Locus managed to trace the call back to this hideout. We were lucky he missed us, and I doubt we'll have luck on our side again. Yeah, and if they've gone through all this trouble just to keep their radios quiet, I can guarantee you they're not going to let you guys within a mile of Doyle or Kimball. If they're not already by their side, then their cloaked space buddies definitely are. We need more intel. We need the upper hand on these guys before we can even think about taking them on again. And to make matters worse, we don't have much time. What makes you say that? We've managed to eavesdrop on a few conversations between the mercenaries and someone calling themselves Control. They've got plans and protocols for just about everything. And I'm willing to bet they've got one for this. Meaning? Look at it this way. Eleven people on this planet know what's really going on. And until those eleven people are tracked down and killed, I'm talking about you guys, by the way, there's really only one thing these space pirates can do. And that's to finish what they started. Oh, 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 wonderful. Duped by a freelancer posing as one of our own men. Can you taste the irony in that? If you had kept your ego under control, they'd be dead by now. Okay, no, we don't have the facts to prove that, all right? So let's not, you know, start throwing blame around or anything, okay? Please, thank you, you're welcome. Stop talking. Gentlemen, though I'm inclined to further chastise you for your most recent failure, I suggest we focus on the opportunity at hand. And exactly which opportunity is that? The reds and blues are missing. 
It won't be long before my scout team finds them. Perhaps. But all that truly matters is that you prevent them from making contact with their armies. We've got snipers shadowing the generals as we speak. Marvelous. Then you are to transport back to your respective armies and report the deaths of the Reds and Blues. They will become the martyrs needed to push these people towards one final confrontation. Do I make myself clear? Crystal. Griff, we just want to look at it. That's what the UNSC guy said about the Griff shot, and I never saw it again. The what? Meta's weapon. Griff kept it as a trophy until the UNSC confiscated it. Until then, I thought I was the only one man enough around here to cry, but Griff proved me wrong. Ha! <laughs> it had sentimental value! Damn it, Griff! Hand over that laser this instant! You can't tell me what to do. I outrank you. Again. What the bur- Well, let's see you outrank the end of my shotgun! Uh, done. Fucking space laser, bitch. Yeah, this is taking forever. Hey, hey, wait a minute! <laughs> Woo! Oh, okay, alright, yeah, here you go. Thanks. Ugh, why is this so greasy? You think that's bad? Imagine how I feel right now. Being inside this body is like trying to breathe through a trash can. <laughs> God damn it! I hate that! Fascinating! An AI with the ability to jump from soldier to soldier? Tell me, does he travel via your neural implants or is it something more subtle? Implants. All freelancer personnel have them. I thought only the Alpha could do that. Yeah, just another trick I picked up from one of my old memory buddies. God, it gives me a headache though. Come on, let's dismantle this thing and see what we can learn. Hey, but-, but When we're done, you can have it back in one piece. Probably. Ooh, ooh. You mind if I tag along? Yeah! Advanced weaponry is my fifth favorite hobby! Right behind destroying my enemies, but just ahead of karaoke! No, thanks. Uh, I think Epsilon and I have it handled. Why don't you catch up for a while? You've all been through a lot. Yeah, I'd stick around for the reunion, but uh, some of you guys still seem pretty pissed at me, so... I'm just gonna wait for that to settle. So... How have you guys been? Shut up. Same old, same old, huh? That's cool. Well, I don't want to intrude on such a sweet moment of reconnection. Fine with me. I was being polite. I'm actually far more interested in port and technology. Bye! Okay, bye! She seems nice. Right? I think she has a few screws loose. Oh, I could always help her out with that. Bow chicka bow. Right? Oh, come on, dude. It's been ages. Oh, she did. I, I almost forgot. Uh, 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 where, where's Freckles? Now, he probably has some screws loose also. Oh, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go take a peek at that laser thingy after all. I'm just dying to see it. I'm, uh, I mean, uh, it's just killing me not to, uh... Oh. Nope. Got nothing. Yeah. Lisa. Yeah, this is great. Church is back, you're back. It's like all of us made it back safe and sound in one piece. No problems. Uh, caboose. Alive. Uh, caboose. Uh, I'm not really sure how to tell you this without both confusing you and breaking your disturbingly fragile heart. I am an emotional die bomb! Jesus Christ. <clears throat> uh, caboose. I'm afraid this is all that's left of Freckles. It's his brain, sort of. Freckles? You're... You're... You're so tiny now! Oh, what? It's all good, it's you again! Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy, Freckles? So, you're... okay, then? Ah, watch this, it's great! Now he can fit in my pocket, and I don't have to worry about him trying to kill you anymore! I... Guess that is sort of better. Thanks for looking after Franco's wash. I know he can be a handful. Literally, at this point. All right, let's go for a walk, Franco's, because Wash is acting weird and dramatic again. Good to have you back, Agent Washington. Hmm. It's good to be back. Back off, lady, or I will put you in the ground. And the moment's passed. You were about to take it apart. What did you think dismantle meant? How did he manage to get the laser back? He's deceptively heavy. Yave gorda. 
A-C-K-S-O-A, they clear, I'll go. Chris, for the last time, put the laser... Ah, uh, okay. Look, that was an accident. I'm going to break your fingers now. Ah! Excuse me. Where did you find that rifle? Hey, I picked it up after Carolina dropped it at the snow base. Are you even familiar with the International Dibs Protocol? The pirates have been manufacturing these along with the armor enhancements. They've got facilities scattered around the planet. So then you're sure it's man-made? I'm positive. Why? Well, for starters, it isn't using human technology. It just fired some kind of modified plasma energy. Very deadly. And pretty! Plasma? Alien energy source. I've seen it countless times in archaeological digs. Wait, I thought you were a surgeon. I have an IQ of 240. A prodigy can only cut people open so many times before she needs to find a hobby. Jesus. Could try cross-stitching? I sewed them back up. Thank you very much. Hey, didn't Felix say that he was paid in alien tech? I believe he said he was paid at babies. The fuck? Don't ask. He was definitely carrying around an old plasma rifle, but I thought he said it was broken. It's likely it was. The Federal Army arranged a similar deal with Locust. They figured trading useless antiques for military assistance was a good deal. So the mercs stock up on alien technology and hand it over to the pirates for reverse engineering. Giving them a new kind of weapon. Half human, half alien. And every single one of them pointed at us. Fantastic. Do you have anything else like this? What about the future cubes? The what? Future cubes! The cubes of the future! They look kind of like the laser gun, right? That's your deductive reasoning. They're related because they're both orange and glowing. So? So? If I heated your armor to a thousand degrees, would you think you're related to? Fahrenheit or Celsius? Oh, come on. There's clearly a resemblance. Oh, of course. Just like the uncanny resemblance between apples and fire trucks. Or Caboose in the Pacific Ocean. Or Lopez and the Dingleberry. Okay, I get it. Hey, Griff, let me ask you a question. You ever get your sister confused with mustard? You know, since they're both yellow and cheap? Yeah, nice try. Still a hologram, by the way. Epsilon, he's right. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to end on the action. Both types of equipment seem to utilize some form of alien engineering. But how did you know what the teleporters looked like? Because we had them in the canyon? Duh. Wait, you did? Yeah, they were awesome! We found them while we were sneaking aboard our ship one night in an attempt to destroy the Blues. I mean, the Blues robot. May you rest in peace. Which reminds me, how did you guys teleport with those things? We can only figure out how to transport random junk. E-Doc, who's that teletransportado doc? Oh my gosh, that's right! We did use them to defeat Dos.0! Oh, poor el amor de Dios. Okay, everybody, shut up! Listen, if the same people making weapons on Chorus had cargo on our ship, then we might be able to find out who they are. How? A manifest? Yep, that's right. A transport ship that size would need to keep track of all its cargo. So if we find the manifest, we find out who supplied the teleportation grenades. So you think a bunch of evil bad guys working outside of the law are going to worry about paperwork? What? You got any better ideas? <sighs> no. Then we have our objective. Half of us will travel back to the canyon and search Crash Site Bravo for the manifest. Why split up? Because the rest of us will be searching the other half of the ship. At Crash Site Alpha. What do you want? Just wanted to see how you were doing. How am I doing? How do you think I'm doing? I put all of our hope into the hands of a bunch of strangers, and they run off and get themselves killed. It was a leap of faith. Sometimes you fall. Well, we're falling fast. I believed in them. And they believed in us. What are you talking about? They left us! Kimball, they accomplished their mission. They actually managed to rescue their friends, and they were going to come back. I saw it myself. They wanted to end this war. They wanted peace for Chorus. Well, what good does that do us now? Plenty. If you go back up there and you tell those men that their heroes died fighting for them, then you can turn this tragedy into something more. Turn it into fuel for one last fire. Felix, they're mourning. When they should be fighting. Vanessa, how many people have we lost at this point? Do you think you'd even count? The only thing different about these soldiers is that they inspired us. And I'm telling you, they can still inspire us even though they're gone. I was waiting to tell you. I recovered some data from the compound. The feds are all gathering in the capital this week, and I mean all of them. 
some sort of rally or something. I don't have all the details, but it sounds like they're getting ready for one last push. I guess without the reds and blues, they think they can finally put an end to us. But I think we need to hit them first. You want to storm Armonia? That's insane. I want all of us to do it. Think about it. One mission that could end everything. We may never have another chance like this. I told Tucker the same thing. You've got an army up there that wants to avenge their heroes. I say it's time you let them. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay? This could work. No, it will work. It has to. Now there's the leader I know. Never give up, right? Right. Transfer that data over to my personal computer. Then let's get a meeting together in the war room. You got it, boss. And Felix? Thank you. For everything. I'm just doing my job. All right. Each team has two teleportation grenades. One to transport you there, and one to get you back. First priority is obtaining the manifest, but while we're in, we should also search for additional supplies. Teleporters, weaponry, anything that could help. I don't expect there to be a hostile presence at Bravo, but be careful nonetheless. Don't get shot! Got it. Alpha's another story. We've acquired its coordinates for teleportation, but never actually investigated the area. From what we've gathered, it's a massive hotspot for pirate activity. I'd understand if you don't want to join us. Given the situation, I'd say you need all the help you can get. Count us in. Yeah. Pretty sure Church would be disappointed if I didn't come also, so... Dr. Gray, you stay here and keep an eye on things while we're gone. Wonderful. I'll prepare a meal out of the surrounding fungi and vegetation for your return. Please don't. See you when we get back? Just don't get captured. The last thing we need is another fucking rescue mission. Amen. Okay, people. The mission starts now. Epsilon. Motion tracker says we're clear. Clear? What, did I stutter? And you're sure we're in the right place? Carolina? I think we're in the right place. starting to think we might not have been the only ones to crash on this planet. Oh, what was your first clue? Bye, boys, a spaceship. Over here! Think this'll work? Well, it's still online, so there's that at least. Infrastructure's a mess, though. It's... Oh, damn. Hold on a second. Seriously? Church couldn't find the zoom on the sniper rifle. What makes you think he can just plug in and find... All right, got it. Sorry, Tucker, what were you saying? Don't be a show-off. What was that? Uh-oh. Four hostiles just popped up on radar. How close? Not very. If we keep quiet, you should... 
right. Fuck that. Okay, give me a drive. Now. Wait, what's happening? It's in. Transfer data. Dude! Yeah, uh, how do I say this? <clears throat> they know we're here and they're coming to kill us. Yeah, one of those days, am I right? Am I right, guys? Say one of those days. Because, you know, this is, this is pretty much the worst. How much time left on that transfer? Hard to say, this computer is beyond fucked. I'm doing what I can. Don't worry, we can wait. We can? Watch your right. Dude, we gotta go. Hold them off for a few more seconds. Behind us! Oh, coach! Come on, that's just cheating! Church! Hold on! Man, fuck this! Wait! Tucker! Get us out of here! Technical shit. This is hard, okay? It's just making me a little 
Frustrated. I was gonna say completely filled with rage, but yeah, frustrated. Talking about me? Actually, no. I don't get it. He's not giving up anything. Excuse me. I've been washing your blood off my armor, so I'm a little late to the conversation. Did you say the prisoner is awake? For now, but I've got five bucks that says Carolina rips his spine out within the hour. I'll take those odds. I see. If you don't mind, do you think I could have a few minutes alone with him? <laughs> You're gonna give him a band-aid for every beating he gets? Well, if you recall, he and his partners turned every one of my friends at Outpost 37 into piles of ash. Anyone sick enough to do something like that would almost certainly benefit from a, uh, checkup. Ooh, what's the matter? Did the big bad freelancer get all tuckered out? Do you know where we are? Huh? This is a remote research facility designed to study the surrounding wildlife. I volunteered at one just like it in grad school. It's got a laboratory, an incinerator, and oodles of state-of-the-art surgical equipment. Would you like to see them? <laughs> Sarge? I'm scared. Simmons? We're all scared. I mean, except for me. His name is Zachary Miller, he's ex-military, and he was kind enough to hand over the coordinates to a nearby radio jammer. You're kidding. No, silly! I'm Dr. Gray! Ha! That joke! All right. Think he's in a position to answer a few more questions? Oh, absolutely! Let me just go put him back together. Caboose? Yes. Don't ever stick your dick in crazy. I have no idea what that means. I know. <laughs> You'll find his belongings on the crate over there, and that his tone is much more positive. Isn't that right, Zachary? For the love of God, get the psychopath away from me! He's all yours. Hey, Carolina, I'm gonna go dark for a little bit, focus on this manifest. You got this? <laughs> oh, yeah. The radio jammers. Talk. I already told your friend about the nearest one, okay? I want to know about all of them. I, I don't know all of them, I, I swear. Look, if you take out the jammer at the coast, you'll at least be able to make contact with the capital. That, that helps, right? Now, will you let me go? There seems to be a misunderstanding. Your options are either A, staying here forever, or B, the incinerator directly behind you. <laughs> Good point. Well, what else do you want? The giant tower at Crash Site Alpha. What is it doing? What, the tractor beams? That's why your ship crashed here in the first place. They're some of the only alien relics we've managed to activate. Ships come by, we pull them down, and then kill everyone aboard. After that, the mercs sell the supplies to the armies. Would've worked on you too, but something went wrong. It was like the ship tried to jump to slip space, change course, and power down all at the same time. It, it didn't make any sense. Instead of pulling you down, the ship got ripped apart. I'm gonna go ahead and claim partial responsibility for that. How many of you are on chorus? Ha, <laughs> enough to get the job done. Give me numbers, or I give you back to the doctor. Whoa, let's not get hasty. Uh, there's a few dozen of us, all right? A few dozen? Quality over quantity. You freelancers should know something about that. I worked with the mercs on another job a long time ago. Guess I did good, because they came back, and they had the offer of a lifetime. Wiping out an entire planet? You call it genocide. I call it one hell of a paycheck. And who exactly is paying for all of this? Beats me. The client sends us supplies and scientists to run the weapons manufacturing, but Locus and Felix are the only ones that talk with them. We'll get the occasional direct order if things are getting dicey, but other than that, we're kept in the dark. I can tell you this, though. Whoever it is has invested a lot of time and a lot of money into this project. If you think they're just gonna sit back and let you throw it all away, <laughs> then you've got another thing coming. Again? Epsilon! I'm here. Uh, there's three more closing in on the guys. Tucker, Sarge, more pirates incoming. What? Man! Battle stations! Get to the lab as soon as you can. We can hold them off from here. Got it! We've got more hostile inbound. What? Don't oh, 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 What the hell's going on? We're being surrounded. How do they keep finding us? I don't know. Is there, is there an informant? A tracking device? Is this supposed to be some sort of apology? Is it? Oh no. Everyone get ready! Today is a good day to- Sit down for a minute and just have a rest, cause I think I'm gonna throw up. Oh, we're 
back at the gas station? Good. I think I need a bathroom. I would not recommend it. <coughs> How did we get here? It's Freckles. Freckles is the tracking device. this once great city from those who wish to take it for themselves. You all know your role. Squads will split up and surround the capital, then we sneak in and hit them from all sides. Once the enemy has entered the city, the exits will be sealed, and any hope of retreat will be dashed. I won't lie to you. Today may be one of the worst days of your life, and for many of us, it's going to be the last. But we can't give up. We've come too far and lost too much to throw this all away. The New Republic believes they can end this war today. And they are correct. What they fail to realize is that the Federal Army of Chorus shall be the one standing victorious after the smoke is cleared. So remember the plan. Remember your training. And most of all, remember what you're fighting for. Not the time. <sighs> well said. Oh, my. <laughs> Locus, yes, sir. Uh, oh, dear God, man, you nearly gave me a heart attack. Sir, I have some rather urgent news. Right. Well, spit it out then. I've been informed that the New Republic has dispatched the mercenary to scout ahead for their forces. My word. First the news of their invasion, and now this? <laughs> you are just a wealth of information, aren't you? <laughs> I'm leaving to track uh, him down. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, oh, wait, no, no, no! You, you, you can't just leave. Oh, well, what about the, uh, the impending battle? I need you here, by my side, to, uh, boost the morale of the troops. Don't be concerned, General. Once I've taken care of this issue, I'll return to take care of you. Oh, right. Uh, yes, yes! Uh, excellent thinking, Lucas. I can always count on you to get the job done. Give it to me straight, Church. His freckles gonna make it. Your robot's fine. I just need a few more. That, there we go. Congrats. Your pet has been debugged. Oh, oh God. Now all we have to do is get it fixed. I can't believe you would just accept something from the enemy like that. It was a lapse in judgment. It won't happen again. Yeah, because next time we'll be dead. Come on, Wash. You're supposed to be the smart one in the group. I thought I was the smart one in the group. Eh, smart's relative. Like good looks or skills. Sometimes you have to settle. Would you guys all shut up? This isn't helping. Oh, yeah, right. Since when have you managed to help out around here? Hey, maybe you haven't noticed, but I've kind of been running this shit while you were gone. Just out of curiosity, who ran stuff when he was here? Well, you ran it straight into the ground, Tucker. Great job. You must be so proud. Okay. Everyone's a little tense right now. Well, at least I tried. You? What about me? You think I've been on vacation this whole time? Please, stop fighting. Can't you see? You're tearing this family apart. Right. This shit's getting weird. I'm out. Hey, if you need me, I'll be thinking of a way to keep us alive for the next 24 hours. Good riddance. Hey, I heard that. I'm still actually in the room, dumbass. I'm gonna go check the perimeter. <sighs> I'll do the same. Why don't you guys just take a breather? Hey! Hi, Wash! Bye, Carolina! Bye, Church! Caboose! Aren't you even, like, the tiniest bit pissed off at Church? Uh... Nope. Not even a little. Nah. At all? Yeah, no, not really. How? He's being such an asshole. I'm pretty sure Church has always been an asshole. Yeah, isn't that kind of his thing? Like, Simmons is smart, I'm good looking, you guys are the dumb one, the lazy one, and the mean one. But he doesn't even care about us. Well, I don't know about that. He stopped that mercenary from cutting up Caboose. Missed opportunity, if you ask me. Well, he abandoned us. But didn't you guys do the same thing? Huh? Uh, the rebels? Well, yeah, but... There were more important things we had to do. I kind of feel like stopping the sale of illegal military equipment might have been more important than hanging out in a canyon. 
Okay, Tucker. I have to tell you this only because you respect my opinion so much. I actually don't listen to anything you say. Ever. Classic lazy one. If you keep being me to church, church will just keep being me to you. And then, everyone will be mean to everyone all the time, and everything will be bad, and no one will have fun. Is this... are you trying to give a motivational speech right now? Shh, I want to see where he's going. I mean, come on! Is this really what you want? You just... you just want to be angry and mean all the time? Because that is dumb! And you know what? You are not more thinking that! Did Caboose just call someone dumb? Well, that's calling the kettle blue. Some church left! And maybe some of us were sad! But you know what? That is okay! Because he was just trying to do something good! And he just made a mistake! And we all make mistakes sometimes! Wow. Caboose, I... So shut up and get over it! Well, my work is done here. You know, I really do fucking hate him. Hey, Carolina. Can, uh... Do you think I could talk to church for a second? Oh. Um, sure. Epsilon. Church, get out here. Church! Just say you're sorry. Can't a guy have a little privacy around? Oh. Hey. What do you want? So... I guess I've been kind of a dick since you got back. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, sure. If you want to put it lightly. <laughs> uh... I mean... I mean, I guess I did... You know, leave you guys without saying anything. Which at the time seemed poetic and heroic and all that. But... You know, I guess from a practical standpoint, I probably should have left a note. Yeah. I'm just not used to you actually doing stuff, you know? I mean, it's weird. Normally, you guys just stick around and I have to do everything. Well, you don't have to do everything anymore. Yeah, well, I guess it just takes getting used to. You know, I, uh, think I saw some beer back at the gas station. Hologram, dude. Still a hologram. Oh, right. But thanks. You can have mine. Seriously? That's it? No, I'm sorry. Nothing? Carolina, we're dudes. Yeah, this is pretty much as emotional as we're gonna get. Yeah, you just witnessed, like, an entire lifetime's worth of male emotion in one minute. Huh, <laughs> what was she expecting? Beats me. Can you believe I have to live with her? Dude, that sucks. Tell me about it. Oh, wait, does that mean you get to see her naked? Okay, man, don't, don't make it weird. So, are they good? I... I think they're as good as they're gonna get. About time. You're telling me. Now can we get back to the whole Civil War thing, please? Ow! My ears! My sensitive ears! Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking, and boy, have I got some news for you. You just had to ask for it. It's Felix. He's using the radios. Hey, asshole, we're not interested in whatever bullshit you're selling. Oh, but Tucker, in a miraculous one-time-only deal, you've all been upgraded to first class on a one-way flight off of Chorus. Are you interested now? I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little interested. are you playing at? Okay, easy there, darling. I know this is all very exciting, so I'm gonna hand the mic over to my partner here to tell you the details. It's time you people understood the futility of your situation. We know where you're hiding. We know you are in possession of a single teleportation grenade. And we know that you hold the coordinates to a particularly valuable radio jammer. Which is why my partner and I are contacting you from its location. Make no mistake. You will not be interfering with today's events. Says you! We're the champs of interfering with shit! As we speak, the armies of Chorus are converging on the capital. And the battle that ensues will leave no survivors. If your goal was to save these people, you have failed. But you now have an opportunity to save yourselves. What do you mean? Once the chumps at the capital are all dead, you guys will be the only loose ends left. 
Now, seeing as you've disabled our tracking device and have the means to teleport anywhere in the world, this poses a somewhat annoying problem. Which is why Control is offering to make a deal. Control? If you choose to teleport back to your canyon at Crash Site Bravo, you'll find a small ship waiting to take you home. But if you fail to arrive within the hour, we will find you, and we will kill you. I'm gonna go ahead and call bullshit on that. Yeah, why should we believe anything you say? See for yourself. Bueno, you las creo. You're right, Lopez. That is the ship that dropped us off. Deja de fingir que me entiendes. It's fully functional and en route to the canyon now. So you've got a ship. How are we supposed to know you won't shoot us the second we arrive? Well, you can't. But if it makes you feel any better, this wasn't our idea. Trust me, I'm really hoping you're dumb enough to turn this offer down. Our client is a person of business. They understand that you want no part of this conflict, and they are willing to let you live if you agree never to speak of our involvement here. And trust us, they'll know if you do. Agent Washington. I've been ordered to offer you and your men a way out. And I never break an order. You have one hour to make your decision. Hope you make the right one. fix cars when you can't even drive them. I'm sorry, Antoine. I couldn't hear you over the sound of your perpetual poor attitude. Oh, fucking got him. Dropping that first name shit. God, I hope you die before me. Cut the chatter. Entry point seven secure. No hostiles detected. Over. Roger that, Smith. Moving up. Come on, guys, let's go! Oh, hey, I just realized this is our first mission together. Huh? As a super elite team, remember? Yeah, some team we turned out to be. Yeah, we're like the Avengers. Okay, Smith can be Captain America, Jensen's Black Widow. Who are you? Uh, Tony Stark, obviously. Oh, whatever, you're totally Hawkeye. Comic book Hawkeye or movie Hawkeye? Movie Hawkeye. You fuck yourself. Hey! Palomo's right. The captains chose us for a reason. And none of us are going to let them down. Now let's move out! Keep interference to a minimum. Let them kill each other, and only target those who try to escape. <laughs> this is gonna be too easy. Alright, the way I see it, we've got three options. I'm gonna go through these in the order of fucking terrible to goddamn nightmare. Option A, we can take our last teleportation grenade and jump to a place on Chorus where we can lay low for a while. The obvious con here is that the armies will probably blow each other to bits. But, Carolina and I have gotten pretty good about fighting these guys on the run. If we're careful, we might be able to gather enough equipment and intel to get off this planet and bring control to justice. Just to clarify, that's the best option? That was fucking terrible. We lose Chorus, but still have the chance to bring down control and walk away from this alive. That gets us two out of three. What's option B? If... And let me tell you, I cannot stress this if hard enough. If Locus and Felix are telling the truth, we go back to the canyon, get on the ship, go home. If anybody asks, we tell them we stole the ride before all the crazy army people showed up and started murdering each other. Gotta be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the if, and the thousands of deaths aren't great either. What about option C? <sighs> we teleport to the radio jammer. If we take out their defenses and shut down the machine, and if we're not too late, then we can broadcast a message to the Capitol. Oh, well that one doesn't sound too bad. Well, here's the thing. I've been running Carolina's healing unit whenever I can, but her leg is still garbage. Combine that with the fact that these guys have freelancer equipment, advanced weaponry... We get it. Some of us won't make it back. Uh, most of us won't make it back. But we could save everyone at the Capitol. Yeah, if, if, if we make it back in time. Then you just need to find a way to convince two armies that a bunch of dead people are actually alive and telling the truth. There's a fourth option. Carolina and I go on the run with Epsilon and do our best to bring down control. And the rest of you take the ship and go home. That's actually 
Not a bad idea. The three of us would be able to move around the planet easier without the extra baggage. No offense. No, baggage was right. We're comfortable with who we are. But we can't just leave. Yes, you can. This isn't your responsibility. You all held up your end of the bargain. You helped us fight. You saved your friends. So now all that's left is for you to go home. Something's not right. Squad leaders in the downtown area, report in. Still no enemies in sight, ma'am. Yeah, we got nothing over here. Ma'am, you don't think Felix had bad intel, do you? Anything's possible. Just stay alert. He should have been back by now. What was that? Shit! The city's roadblocks just locked up! What? Same thing just happened in our sector! Freeze! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Time's almost up. Bravo, report. No visual on the targets. I don't think they're coming, sir. Hmm. Stay on guard. <laughs> Guess they didn't trust us. Lucas, how many men did you bring with you? Four. The rest were needed at the Capitol. You don't say. Four pirates carrying prototypes. Mercs are sticking to their usual. I'm heading away from the jamming tower now. Did they see you? Excuse me! You look familiar. Have we met? Oh, man! You are fast! Off but minus points on originality. See what I mean? All right. You have me. So, where's the rest of the crew? They're not here. I came alone. Well, that is classic you, from what I've heard. But seeing as they weren't at the gas station, or the ship we so generously provided, I'm not sure I believe you. Well, I guess that's your problem. Actually, if you don't tell your friends to come out and surrender, you're gonna have a problem the size of a golf ball in the middle of your forehead. Funny. I was just about to tell you the same thing. Oh, hey, Wash. Heads up, you're gonna feel like an asshole in three, two, and... You continue to both surprise and disappoint me, Agent Washington. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Never in all my life have I met a human being as selfish and bloodthirsty as you, Miss Kimball. How dare you? Marching into the Capitol thinking you could kick us while we're down. Have you no decency? We tried to be decent in the past, but we all remember how that turned out, don't we? <laughs> my dear girl, I can assure you I haven't the slightest idea what you mean. Of course not. You're still too busy trying to uphold a government that doesn't even exist anymore. Because you've killed everyone who stood for it! It was a broken fucking bureaucracy that nearly killed the planet! And you're a ruthless lot of anarchists who killed the only outsiders brave enough to try and save it! I would- Wait, the... what did you say? This might be a problem. All right, guys, come out and I promise to kill you quick. Waste my time, and you get to watch the freelancers die over the course of, uh, well, until whenever I get bored. Mm. Spread out and find them. They might be hiding in one of the caves. Caboose! I didn't do it! Or maybe they'll just telegraph their position, because they're idiots. Shoot on sight. Tell me. When you murdered the Reds and Blues, was it because you couldn't stand the thought of them siding with us? Or were they merely caught up in the decimation of our outpost? What are you talking about? We didn't decimate anything! 
It came from in here. Right. Moving on three. You killed the Reds and Blues after they rescued their friends! We did no such thing! Two. You know, I've just gotta ask. What did you think seven morons, a couple of freelancers, and an AI would actually be able to do here? One. But... Felix said... What the... Well, not much. But you forgot to count the genius and the dog. The dog? Eat signature detected. Did that gun just fucking talk? Firing main cannon. Ah! What? Now! Attack! Open fire! Yes! Take care of the simulation troopers. I have this under control. Right. Do not disappoint me again. Oh dear! I'm a leader, not a fighter! Damn it! Get ready to cover me! I'm going after him! This ends today. Come on, guys. Let's not draw this out any longer than we have to. Sounds good to me. <laughs> oh, no, you are not. Seriously? <laughs> You're gonna go with the sword. Oh, okay. oh, no, okay. All right. What's wrong? You scared? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Last man wash. Make it count. Why do you continue to help these people, Agent Washington? Where are you? You have nothing to gain from them. No reason to fight for them. 
And yet, here you stand putting your life in line for them. Is that so hard to understand? You used to be so much more. For God's sake, man, loosen up. You gotta get limber. How did you convince Kimball to go to the capital? Vanessa? Oh, she was easy. I just made up some story about how you all died heroically. You should have seen it, man. I gave the performance of a fucking lifetime. Got all broken up, threw in a few dramatic pauses, and they just ate it up. So how long have you and Locus been working together? I'm sorry, I thought we were going to be fighting here. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Round one, Felix. God, you're a fucking tool. You were once an enemy to these men. You were ruthless. You were a survivor. I was a different person. No. You were a soldier. You say that like they're two different things. When a true soldier is told to kill, he kills. He does not question why. He does not mourn the fallen. He fulfills his role and moves on to the next. Is that what you want to be? A true soldier? No. That is what I am. Damn it. Ow, oh, you dick! God, I just really want to savor this. You know, once the feds and rebels kill each other, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, we've been playing these guys for years. How do you just walk away from something like that? What happened to retirement? Oh, well, yeah, I'll be filthy stinking rich. But I'm still in my prime. There's so much more I could do. Keep talking, asshole. Well, the thing about that is, uh... Oh, <laughs> you'd like that, wouldn't you? You know, I just realized I haven't seen your pals in a while. I wonder if they're trying to get the jump on me. Ah, he knows! Oh. Ah! No! <laughs> That's the last time you try to outsmart me, Captain Tucker. I'm a professional, Agent Washington. I complete- Yeah, 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 you complete your missions at all costs. You can say that as many times as you want, but I know what you really are. You're a coward. Ridiculous. You keep trying to play yourself off as some sort of weapon, that you don't care about anyone or anything. But the fact that you're trying so hard to understand me breaks your entire act. No matter how hard you may want to be, you're not a machine. You're a murderer, but you hide behind the idea in your head because you're too afraid to take responsibility for what you've done. I know, I used to be a real piece of shit, but at least I'm trying to do something about it. <laughs> Stop right there! You... D don't make me use this! You still don't get it, do you? The entire reason you sim troopers were allowed to live this long? <laughs> it's because you're all losers. Control was confident that you'd do more damage to these people than they could ever do to themselves. I mean, a bunch of idiots in charge of an army? C come on, it was a recipe for disaster. Locus and I figured we'd let you rack up the casualty count, then kill you after a few weeks. Oh, but then, you did something special. You gave these people hope. And with that came a new level of motivation, to fight harder, to die faster, all with the belief that their sacrifice might actually mean something. But you know what? It all means nothing. At the end of the day, if I'm stronger than you, and if I'm faster than you, then I can kill you. And that's better than anything money can buy. I don't know, man. I think I'd rather be rich than a fucking nut job. What do you think, church? Yeah. This guy's got no idea what he's talking about. What the... What the fuck is this? Oh, this is Church. He's the AI that helps me run my equipment. What equipment? My helmet, Cam. Oh! Somebody just got fucking busted. All right, boys! Bring it down! Be right back! Once the feds and rebels kill each other, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, we've been playing these guys for years. How did you convince Kimball to go to the capital, Vanessa? Oh, she was easy. 
I just made up some story about how you all died heroically. You should have seen it, man. I gave the performance of a fucking lifetime. Got all broken up, threw in a few dramatic pauses, and they just ate it up. You son of a bitch. The entire reason you Sim Troopers were allowed to live this long, it's because you're all losers. Locus and I figured we'd let you rack up the casualty count, then kill you after a few weeks. Locus? You gave these people hope, and with that came a new level of motivation. This is bad. To die faster. Locus, everyone at the Capitol knows. What do we do? Follow protocol. Are you speechless? That's a first! You... You're dead! I wouldn't, if I were you. Uh, you know those sticky grenades kick like a mule? But I hear these newfangled laser blasters are quite lethal! The mission is a failure. Protocol states we are to report to control immediately. They are injured. We can kill them now! No. We follow orders. Let me assure you all, this is not over. This is Vanessa Kimball of the New Republic ordering an immediate ceasefire. All soldiers of the Federal Army stand out at once! Tucker, Griff, can anyone read me? What are your coordinates? Where are you? The Pelican goes in for a landing, but the radio jammer is shooting off all sorts of electricity and stuff. It was all like... Oh. We're on the ground. Captain Tucker's bleeding out. The reds and blues are all bashed up. Things don't look good. Oh. We load them all aboard the ship and take off as fast as we can. And that's when he spoke to me. Palomo, come closer. It was my captain. I leaned in. Don't speak, Tucker. You need your strength. But he brushed my hand aside, looked me straight in the eyes, and said to me, Palomo, you did good, kid. You did good. Oh, that's bullshit! What I actually told you was to stop crying and to shut the fuck up. Okay, yeah, but the sentiment was still there. I fucking hate you, Palomo. You know, if we hadn't shown up with the Fed ship, you'd probably be dead. Like, for real this time. Hey. We're a bunch of mavericks, okay? We weren't even planning on making it out alive. That was just an added bonus for being so fucking awesome. You went on a suicide mission for us? Well, uh, you know, we figured we owed you one. That's so selfless. And hey, your voice didn't crack. It didn't? I mean, <clears throat> uh, I don't know what you're talking about. All right, don't get carried away. You guys just happened to be the first people we ever met who thought we were cool. We saved you strictly for selfish reasons. And with the hope there'd be more pampering upon our return. I'm here whenever you need me, sir! <sighs> he seriously survived the fight? I mean, really? The universe just had to spare Matthews. Well, I think I speak for all of us when I say thank you. And I think that I speak for all of us when I say that this feels like the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Isn't that right, Freckles? Affirmative. No, absolutely not. Way too cheesy. Thank you, Captain. I'll remember this to the day I die, or my name isn't John Elizabeth Andersmith. Oh God, is it? So, what do you think? I think it's an absolute mess. Well, your army didn't exactly leave us with many options over the years. Yes, well, I suppose we can't expect you to continue operating out of a hole in the ground. I'll talk with one of my new advisors and see if we can have your people set up at another one of our outposts. I was actually thinking about moving to the capital. <laughs> well, that's preposterous. Excuse me? My men deserve a roof over their heads just like yours. Hey, you both agreed to a temporary truce. So why don't you try starting with a little cooperation? Very well, I'll see what I can do. Agent Washington, you have my thanks. And mine. If it wasn't for you all, we'd be gone. Well, thanks, but you should really thank Tucker. The whole plan was actually his idea. Is that so? Kind of a shocker, huh? No, not really. If there's anything we can ever do for you, please don't hesitate to ask. Oh, gosh. I don't think that's really necessary. What's your rank higher than Captain? Um, Colonel? Promote me to Colonel. Oh, uh, 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 very well then. Uh, in honor of your service... 
I hereby promote you to Colonel... Uh, Sarge. You hear that, numbnuts? I outrank you! Again! Ah! So, did you miss me? Actually, I found the peace of mind to be rather nice for a change. Oh, yeah, I bet it went along great with that ass-kicking. That was part of the plan. Oh, really? Because I thought the plan was to distract Locust, not let him mop the floor with you. Look, they were better than I expected, okay? Wimp. I'm so surprised you went along with the plan. Yeah, well, I figured it was time to have faith in them, too. Oh, hey, hold on. Everything okay? Yeah, I said hold on. Uh-huh. Great, thanks, D. What was that? That was the end of a very long and very annoying decryption process. You've got the manifest? Fuck yeah, I got the manifest. I'm processing it now. Well, not exactly the most dramatic revelation, but I believe that we have our culprit. Who is it? Caron Industries. Big umbrella corporation that got a hand in pretty much every major market you can think of. Even messed around with cryogenics a few years back. But it looks like their largest profits come from weapons and technology. They own most of the stuff on the ship. Sounds familiar. Yeah, Project Freelancer stole some assets from them once or twice and managed to destroy quite a bit of private property in the process. You mean the Resistance? I thought they were a UNSC splinter group. The soldiers were all UNSC. But according to my records, they'd been hired on to act as Karan's private security force. Is that legal? <laughs> I doubt it. Looks like Karin and the military started getting really buddy-buddy around the time that... Oh. Epsilon? Where's Dr. Gray? Huh? The lunatic! What's she doing? She's... treating the space pirates we captured. Perfect. Tell her I want them to give me all known radio frequencies used by the mercenaries. Why? I need to make a call. I'm at a loss, gentlemen. Years of arduous labor and delicate manipulation all made worthless by your inability to stop a single squad of what can hardly be considered soldiers. They got lucky. They were underestimated, and it will not happen again. Our operation now lies in extreme jeopardy. Word of our involvement can never find its way back to Earth or the UNSC. Then what are our orders? Go to war. What is this? Extra sauce, please! An outside transmission. Hello? How'd they get this channel? Colorful Space Marines Stop Corruption. You know, I really love the picture they used for this thing, but I gotta say, I think I like the description even more. Pictured above, the red and blue troopers of Project Freelancer receive a full pardon from UNSC Oversight Chairman and Caron Industries CEO, Malcolm Hargrove. I can't imagine you like publicizing that second bit very much, though. Probably not very good for business. Am I right, Chairman? On the contrary. You'd be surprised as to what can come of a merger between politics and corporations. If you're here to negotiate a surrender, I'm afraid I must inform you that your ship has set sail. Quite literally, in fact. Actually, we were just hoping to read you a letter. It's just a little something we put together for you. Considering we'll probably be seeing a lot of each other over the next few weeks. Take it away, Church. Dear Chairman, It has come to our attention that you have declared war on the planet Chorus. We regret to inform you that this is a really shitty idea. Not only have you managed to annoy the people that you failed to kill time and time again, you've also found a way to piss off an entire planet. Now, they may not have the best equipment, and they might not be the best fighters, but as you're aware, they've been fighting for a very long time. And now that they're not fighting each other, they're more than happy to dedicate all of their time to fighting you. So, dear Chairman, to you and your idiotic mercenaries, we would like to say, bring it on, motherfuckers. We are not going anywhere. From your friends, the incredibly badass and sexually attractive Red and Blue Soldiers of Project Freelancer. P.S. Suck our balls.
And I wonder where you are And I wonder what you are And I'm lost inside a bar And I'm drunk inside a Inside a war, and I 